Hi, it's the Burker That Gratitude Guy. Today, life changes. Life is always changing. I was thinking my youngest son is just finished, <coughs> excuse me, finishing high school, heading off to college. And I thought about how it's like chapters of a book. Every single time something big happens in personal, professional, career, family, friends, what have you, it's like another chapter. But you have to kind of take the attitude of been there, done that, and it's time to move on. There's nothing worse, I think, sometimes in people that always are talking about what happened to them in the past and not what they're looking forward to. And I remember Teddy Roosevelt's comment about better to live highs and lows than stand in the middle of just nothingness, if you will, something, a quote to that effect. But to make sure you're really making the most of your life. And how is a good way to do that? Be grateful. The more grateful you are for what you have, everything you have versus focusing on what you don't have will make such a difference. I think it's so important it's just to roll with it and understand it's like another chapter. I remember reading about the regrets of the dying. Boy, what incredible lessons we can, re we can uh, learn from these people that have, uh, are in their 80s and 90s and are getting ready to pass on. They never say they wish they would have worked more. They always talk about they wish they would have taken more chances. And many of them have said they wish they would have had more forward thinking and paid attention to what's in front of them versus what's behind them. I've talked many times about notice why the windshield's so big and the rearview mirror is so small. So be grateful for each new chapter of your life. When you have changes coming up, when things are going, look at it as another chapter in a book. But be grateful for everything you've learned and everything you can apply to the future. That's the message for today. Have a grateful day. We'll see you tomorrow.